Welcome to PMA Consultants Knowledge Sharing Session. My name is Chad Rowland, and today's topic is Applying Activity Codes to Schedule Activities in Primavera P6. In a previous knowledge sharing session, we covered how to define activity codes within the schedule. Now I want to show you how to apply these codes to each schedule activity. There are four options to apply activity codes to schedule activities. The first option is to use the Codes tab. To apply an activity code, you first select an activity, go to the Codes tab, and select Assign. When you select Assign, the Assign Activity Codes box will pop up, and you can double-click on the activity code that you would like to assign. In this case, we're on Demolition, and for our example, the Civil Subcontractor will also do the demolition. Once I double-click on Civil, it will show up under our Activity Codes Assign box. Let's do the same thing for the Civil activity. Here you will see there are currently no activity codes assigned. If I double-click Civil, it is now assigned. Let's also do Structural. That demonstrates how to do option one of using the Codes tab to assign activity codes. The second option for applying activity codes to your schedule activities is to use the command bar. To do this, select Assign Activity Codes from the command bar, and your Assign Activity Codes box will appear. To apply activity codes, you follow the same steps as demonstrated in option one. Click on your activity. There are no activity codes shown since none have been applied to the rough plumbing activity. Double click on Royal Flush Plumbing and that activity code has been assigned. Let's do the same for Curtain Wall. For Curtain Wall we will assign Glass Plus and the same for Rough Electrical. We'll assign Acme Electric. This demonstrates how to use the command bar to assign activity codes. The third option to apply activity codes to your schedule activities is to use the right-click assign activity codes method. To do this, select your activity that does not have an activity code, right-click, go to assign activity codes. From here, use the same steps as previously demonstrated. We will double-click on Dusty's drywall to assign the activity code. The fourth option for applying activity codes to your schedule activities is to use the fill down option. To do this, we will want to add a subcontractor activity column. To do this, right click, go to columns. Under activity codes global, expand and you will see our subcontractor activity code that has been established. To place this as a column in our layout, Click on Subcontractor and press the right arrow button. Now I'd like this after the activity name, so I will select Move Down. Once we're good with the order, say Apply, and you'll see our Subcontractor column appear. You will see that our Subcontractor column displays the activity codes that have been defined in the previous steps. I want to use the fill down technique to populate some of the remaining activity codes. Let's apply an activity code to the millwork activity. In this case, our millwork will be done by the structural subcontractor. We already have a structural subcontractor signed above, so to fill down, we select the structural activity code, hold control, and select the millwork cell. We can then right click and select fill down. You will see now that structural activity code has been applied to millwork. Let's do the same for finished plumbing. So we have a rough plumbing activity above with a plumber assigned. Let's select control, left click into the finished plumbing activity, right click, and select fill down. And we'll do the same for finish electrical. That demonstrates how to use the fill down technique to apply activity codes to your schedule activities. In this knowledge sharing session, we have covered four ways to apply activity codes to your P6 schedule activities. Once applied, you can use activity codes to group, sort, or filter your schedule activities. We hope you enjoyed this knowledge sharing session. Please visit PMA Consultants website for more training sessions on how to navigate your way around the Primavera P6 software.